Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a chart to make it look like this, more like a, like a bullet chart. So I'm going to create a chart, I'm going to solidly select the bar chart, I'm going to click next. I'm not going to have a dimension, I'm going to choose next and I'm going to add two expressions, one for sum of sales and then I'm going to add another one for sum of purchases. It's going to click finish for now. So you can see when we first create the chart, it's, uh, it's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, we've got a caption, we've got a, the legend, and it's not colored the way we want it. It's the x axis and the y axis. So we begin the properties. I want to start clearing out some of this stuff. So we'll untick the show title and chart. So we click apply. And um, the presentation, untick show legend, click apply. And the colors, uh, default colors. So for first color, we're going to choose um, this color green. Click OK. And for the second color, we're going to choose uh, a gray color. So we click deploy. Now we can see changes starting to take effect. Um, so we go across to caption and untick show caption click OK then what we want to do is uh, you can see there's kind of a layout so if we go into the layout and choose border width 0 shadow intensity no shadow so we click OK see now we, we can't see the the border so the next thing is uh, the axis so we want to the axis color to be transparent because we have a white background for both and the color of the font we will also want that to be transparent so if we click you can see now we basically got nothing left in the chart so the next thing to do is go into style and to change the orient orientation and change it to a stacked bar chart click OK so actually we're going to go back into properties and we're going to go into the um, layout tab we're just going to add a border with just so we can see what we're doing so we're just going to resize it and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so <coughs> The next step to do is go into the expressions and for text color we're going to say because it's I'm going to say black actually it's for the green parts for sales so we're going to say white um, if you click apply and then for the text color for we're going to say black for the purchases. Yeah, we can't see any values at the moment. What we need to do is go into presentation, plot values inside segments, and then we need to go back into properties, expression, and choose values on da data points. So then the final thing we do need to do is just to format the um, the expressions. So just say num. comma two single quotes and within the single quote say hash comma hash hash zero actually put a euro sign and then close parentheses I'm just gonna copy that piece there so we click apply you can see that that's formatted I'm gonna go into the sum of porches I'll paste just add the num function and then click OK so now you can see if we strike that across, maybe bring it up a little bit. And then final thing just to um, go into the layout tab and get rid of the border width. And basically we have a similar, we've taken a bar chart to make it look like a, um, a bullet chart. So that's pretty much it. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.